Let's talk about something I've been getting quite a lot of questions about lately, and it's why I don't recommend using the home drive method on the M4 MacBook Air. Now, I know this might come as a surprise since I showed you how to do this method on my M4 Mac Mini that I have just sitting back there, but that's a desktop setup. So let me explain why this is a completely different story on a laptop. For those of you who don't know, the home drive method is when you take an external SSD and plug it into your Mac and set it up as your primary home folder. That means that all of your documents, downloads, and even apps live on that drive, not your internal storage or your internal SSD. The idea behind this is to free up your internal drive so macOS can focus solely on the system, memory processes, and even use that space for swap memory if needed to. It can work really well, but not on a laptop. And here's why. The biggest issue, portability. One of the main reasons you buy the MacBook Air is to have a lightweight portable machine. And when you tie it to an external SSD using the home drive method, you're literally tethering it to a cable at all times. If that drive isn't plugged in, you can't log into your account period. Now, yes, you can set up a secondary local account on the internal drive for emergencies, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of the setup, doesn't it? Another issue I've been seeing in the comments a lot is people wanting to use SSDs they already own, like the Samsung T7. And I get it, it's cheaper, and many of you already have it lying around. Now, here's the thing. The T7 has nowhere near the read and write speeds you can get on this OWC drive, which is what I use, what I recommend. The link is in the description below. I've covered this a bunch. But the T7 also tends to overheat under sustained loads, and that's a big problem when it's being used constantly as the home drive. The OWC drive has a solid aluminum chassis that helps with heat dispensation. So the T7, not so much, but yet, that also makes it prone to failure when stressed for many hours, which is exactly what happens when you use these as your home drive. And again, if that SSD overheats or disconnects, you're stuck. You can't log in and you might be waiting for that drive to cool down just so you can access your files. Now, if you're using your M4 MacBook Air as a desktop, like permanently docked with an external monitor, sure, maybe this method still makes sense. But at that point, why not just get an M4 Mini? And for full transparency, I actually do not use the home drive method even with my M4 Mac Mini anymore. And that's really more because I upgraded to two terabytes of internal storage, which completely removed the need for juggling external drives. I also needed to be able to bring my OWC drive on set with me as that work started to pick up towards the end of the year. And that's primarily the reason I bought this drive. The transfer speeds are just insane. And that's why it works really well as a home drive with the M4 Mini. I know the base models like the 256 gigabyte M4 MacBook Air don't give you a ton of space. And that's probably why a lot of you are looking into this method. But in my opinion, it just creates too many limitations in a portable setup. So there it is, the home drive method works great on a desktop, but on a laptop like the M4 Air, it's more trouble than it's worth. I would go for a higher internal storage option if it's really an issue for you, or just consider using external storage just for files, not as your main home drive though. I do that with my T7, don't really have any issues. The transfer speeds are fine enough when it comes to editing, and it doesn't really get too hot because I'm not leaving it plugged in for 24 hours. If you've got questions or want me to walk through alternatives, drop a comment below. I do have a video on all the SSDs that I personally use with the M4 MacBook Air, and I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. If you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos from the channel. And until next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. Thank you for joining me as always, and I will catch you in the next video.